Have you ever wondered as to how a train changes track while running? However, how this happens? A special mechanical arrangement is made. This arrangement is known as a railroad switch and it consists of pair of rails. The switching rails can direct or guide the train, either on straight path or on the diverging path which does a curved rail line establish. Here is animated railroad switch demonstrating the principle and operation. Railway authorities it is very important that the switch be set up carefully. Most train derailments take place at the point when it goes from one track to another track. A loose setup is a guarantee of making train jump off the track a disaster. Track switching is controlled from control centers. The train driver has no control over which track he, she wants to take the train. When a train is routed to switch tracks, Train wheels have a flange design that helps to keep them firmly connected to the rails at all times on straight tracks as well as on curves. This shape can be seen clearly in this photo. Parts of the railroad tracks Points, switch rails or point blades are the movable rails which guide the wheels towards either the straight or the diverging track. They are tapered on most switches, but on stub switches, they have square ends. In ordinary conversation, it is common to use the word switch when referring to a turnout, which is technically incorrect. Stock rails are the running rails immediately alongside of the switch rails against which the switch rails lay when in the closed position. The stock rails are otherwise ordinary rails that are machined, drilled and bent is required to suit the design of the turnout switch and the individual switch point rails. Frog is a component placed where one rail crosses another refers to the crossing point of two rails. The rest of the English speaking world calls such units by the more obvious term crossings. Closure rails are the straighter curved rails that are positioned in between the heel of switch and the toe of frog. Guard rail, check rail, is a short piece of rail placed alongside the main stop rail opposite the frog. These exist to ensure that the wheels follow the appropriate flange way through the frog and that the train does not derail. Mechanisms for switching railway tracks. Following is an animated showing how one section of track is smoothly transformed into two sections. There are two movable tapering rails in the middle one towards the left and the other towards the right. Let us call them LT and RT respectively. Note the gap between the right rail and RT. Also, note that the left rail smoothly merges with Lieutenant. Point to note here is that gap X which allows the wheel to roll over this assembly without obstacles. One wheel goes over LT and the other on rail towards the right thus. The carriage goes straight in this situation. To make the carriage go left and to divert it, one has to shift the LT and RT both towards the right. Now LT has some gap with the left rail and RT touches the right rail. This is kinda mirror to the previous situation. Again gap X which allows the wheel to smoothly go to the left track. Now LT is missed and the other wheel goes over RT. Hence, the carriage takes a new path. Thanks for watching.